Okay, in this video I'm going to be introducing you to the names and of uh, some three-dimensional shapes that really you need to know the names of and be able to identify. There's really not much that we can do with a lot of them mathematically at this stage, but we want to really know what they're called and what their properties are. So we're going to start off um, with these six that I have here and there's two more to do. So this one up here where all of the faces are the same size, all each side, uh, each face is a square, um, this is known as a cube. Okay, so you will be used to things like a Rubik's cube for example, that would be a cube. So each face is a square. In this case, um, we have each face is either square or rectangle, so not all faces are the same size. So you can think of this like, uh, like a shoebox, or you could think of it like um, a box of Kleenex tissues, for example. This would be referred to as a cuboid. So, not quite a cube, a cuboid. Right, over here, we have um, what is a triangle that has been pushed through, okay, to produce a shape that is a triangle all the way through. If I took slices, I would just get this same triangle as the front. And this is referred to as a triangular prism. So a prism is a, uh, a polygon that has been pushed through, so it doesn't necessarily have to be triangular. You could, I guess, uh, call this like a rectangular prism, okay? because it's the same rectangle all the way through the shape. You could have a pentagonal prism or a hexagonal prism, so a hexagon that's been pushed all the way through. Um, but for a triangular prism, you could think of it like um, like uh, a Toblerone, for example. That's a triangular prism. So this shape here, we've got a square base, um, and this is referred to as a square-based pyramid. So like the Egyptian pyramids, pyramids of Giza, this is a square-based pyramid. Pyramid. Okay, it's quite a complicated shape if you're doing anything like uh, volume with it. Um, so, but that would be um, higher level to this. This shape, what you're seeing um, is it's got a circular base, and this is referred to as a cone. Okay, so like an ice cream cone. Um, that is the shape that we would be used to. Now this shape, um, that's kind of like uh, a can of Coca-Cola, for example, this is referred to as a cylinder. It's not a circular prism because it doesn't have um, edges. So it doesn't have straight line edges. It's not a polygon at the front. But it has the same property that if you sliced it at any point, you would get the shape at the front. So I can understand kind of where that problem would come from. So it's referred to as a cylinder. So these are six official names for these shapes. So we've got two more to look at. Let's have a look at the last two. Okay, so the last two are these two here. Way. So this one, okay, is if you imagined um, the pyramids, the uh, pyramids of Egypt, to have triangular bases, then and all those triangles to be the same size, this would be referred to as a tetrahedron. Some people like to think of this as a triangular-based pyramid, 
but its proper name is a tetrahedron. Tetra uh, means four. Um, so when you're playing uh, Tetris, for example, Tetris uses four block shapes. Um, tetrahedron, tetra means four faces, so it has four triangles. This last one, um, that's a ball, effectively, like a tennis ball, um, its official name is a sphere. Okay, so S-P-H-E-R-E, -E, sphere. Okay, so those were the names of the three-dimensional shapes that you need to know and make sure that you remember in time for the exam. The likelihood is that this type of question would come up as a matching activity or just name these shapes.